Okay, folks. I may have found an interesting spot here. You can see there's a bunch of debris right up in there. But right down here, I just pulled this one up underneath that root there. There's a bit of glass here. This is a, it's a screw top, but it's a federal law forbids bottle. And it's got some sort of picture on it. Maybe you have a boat and a palm tree. I don't know, it's hard to tell. I don't think you, uh, you might be able to see it a little bit there. It's a nice greenish hue. Oh, there's some Boston on the base too. American Liquor Company. Puerto Rican. Dates there too. Looks like a maybe a 54. Kind of cool. All right. I'm going to head up that way and see what's up in there. Me again, folks. Check this out. Yep. It's a, looks like a pirate. Maybe it's Captain Hook. I don't know. Legs are broke off him. Pretty neat. Yeah. We'll take it and maybe clean it up. But that's old too. It's metal. Okay folks, looks like I got another bottle right here, right on the surface. It's embossed. I don't know if it's whole or not. Let's check it out. Oh, it is too. Something Callus, Maine. Beckett and Company. Cool. Looks like a 1936. Oh, too bad that's not embossed. Nice looking bottle. Cool beans. That's a nice one right there. Nice find. Well, I just bought this here little ornament out. I don't know if it's supposed to be a snowman or a teddy bear or what. Some glass. Some of those old style ornaments. Kind of interesting. Might hang on to it. Okay, folks, I may just found a friggin' day maker right here. Check it out. Oh, the handle's even on it. Oh, it's got a chip out of it right there. Still, uh, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna keep that. Nice, nice little find. All right, over and out. This place is a load of cobalt blue bottles. All the not gleam and books bottles. Well, here's an interesting uh, milk white one. Never seen one that shape before. And what else we got here? Father John's Medicine screw top. It's one of the later ones. It's not embossed on the face. Oh, here's some stuff down in here. Up a couple cork tops. That one's a crown top, junior mulches. That's a cork top. 
you know, I just pulled this one here. I scraped this up. Look at that little triangular cork top or stopper top. Get focused there. Uh, it doesn't want to focus. Anyway, as you can see, it's a little uh, triangular one. Nice little find. No one bossing on it though. All right, I'll let you go for now. Get you back up in a bit. There's a Scots emulsion, folks. With the lid on it, and the date says 1943 on the bottom. This one's got some nice clear embossing on it. You get focused. Look at the scales on that fish. Nice, hey? Eh? Nice one. Yeah. Good day, folks. Welcome back to the show and tell portion of the uh, bottle dig. This stuff here isn't particularly uh, old, but it's got a bit of age to it. Yeah, like most of my sites, I got a variety of stuff out of it. Now let's start with uh, this here Scott's emulsion bottle. And check out the embossing on that. You can see the scales on the fish. Now this is a cod liver oil. And this one's going to be 1943. It's got the Owen, Illinois mark on the bottom. In the, in the three with the dot after it. Check it out. I've got the lid on it too. It's in pretty decent condition, so I kept the lid on it. Alright. Next is this uh, nice colored rum bottle, I would suspect. It's got some sort of embossing down here, a couple palm trees, a, a barrel. I don't know what else is on there, but four fifths of a pint. Couldn't really find any info on it. It's a screw top, interesting little bottle. And it's uh, from Puerto Rico, 1944. Upside down. There we go. It's 1944 right there. Thought I'd keep it and check it out, but unfortunately I didn't find anything out about it. Next is this great big, probably a whiskey jug. Try to get it. And if you watched the video, you seen when I picked it up, I discovered that big hole in the back. Now I may be able to repair that. And I might try that in the future. But for now, there it is. And I, I would guess this probably dates from the 1890s, possibly into the 1910. I don't know. It's an oldie. There's no markings on the bottom. Is that gonna... There we go. And then we got this graduated medicine. I didn't show this find in the bottle digging portion of the video. But it is manganese glass. Starting to turn uh, purple. It's got a faint purpley hue to it. You might be able to make that out just a wee bit down around here. It's a nice one. It's machine made, but it's going to put that uh, probably around 1900 to 1915, somewhere in that range. And then next is a soda bottle. Beckett and Company from Callis, Maine. Well, that's pretty cool. And on the bottom is the Owens, Illinois mark again. And it's a 1936. So not particularly old, but still a nice bottle. And that's the first time I've seen one of those. Oh man, folks. Okay, we're going to get into all this miscellaneous stuff down here at the bottom. This is a nice big cobalt blue Noxema bottle. And it's not... See how that changes color when the light hits that blue? And it's not, uh, there it goes. It's not a real dark blue one. It's more of that light colored one. So that would tell me that it's probably from the 1940s where they didn't, you know, where the, the cobalt blue wasn't as dark. Here's a nice little uh, Romo Seltzer bottle. And a Vix Vatronol that would have had a dropper on the top of it there. There's a little cork top 
triangular shaped bottle Dominion glass mark on the bottom that's going to put it sometime after 1928 it's probably from the 30s lots of little bubbles in it another little miniature uh, machine made cork top amber bottle Dominion glass mark nothing real special about it but kind of neat these odds and ends like that are actually fun to find if you're just starting out not a whole lot of fun for me but <laughs> Uh, it's enough to put a video together anyways here's a little ornament and this guy's got some sort of stick or something down here I'm assuming that's a part of a Christmas ornament and I wouldn't I don't know what date I'd put on that because uh, the same as uh, nowadays back then I mean they hung on to Christmas ornaments like forever so who knows how old that could be there's your little uh, Junior Welch's juice bottle now some of these go back quite early, but I would say this one's probably from the 1920s or 30s. Yeah. There's no uh, maker's mark on the bottom. Neat little milk white. It's got these grooves on either side. No identifying marks. It's a pretty good size one. And it's all together. It's in good condition. Nice milk white. Jar. And lastly, we have another slick amber cork top, machine made. And this one has the Owens mark on the bottom, just the O in a square. And so that's going to put that between 1919 and 1929. So there we have it, folks. Pretty good variety of stuff out of this site. And if I go back, I'll get that, uh, if you watch the video I dug up, uh, metal pirate but he was broke so I got thinking afterwards I should have brought him home and I, once I cleaned him up there might have been some identifying marks on him would have been worth uh, looking up but anyways if I go back to the site again I'll I'll grab that and uh, you'll see it in a future video anyway so that's gonna be it folks so I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, enjoyed seeing the finds here if you got any uh, info to add to any of these finds feel free to Put it in the comments. <laughs> I always love reading the comments. Okay, folks. Catch us on the next one. What?